All right, folks. Would be farmer for the fourth, fifth, or sixth. I'm not sure. Maybe seventh, sixth or seventh video of the day. Sun's starting to break out, so the light won't be quite as good as it was earlier. Well, let's see some of the rest of the property here. That's something I haven't talked about. Is uh, what to do with wastewater on the property, and we we do we do a few things. We have rain barrels that take what we would consider storm water from our gutters, and we uh, we run those downhill, use gravity, and I run those to rain gardens. I run those to areas uh, where the water can fill up. I've got a couple of little ponds that I run the hoses to. Now this was on the property when we got here. This is an old compression tank for a well. I drilled holes in the top, drilled a hole there. So I have uh, water from our uh, washing machine. And I got these hoses that run down the hill to a couple different rain gardens. So I move the water that would be discharging right here. Most of the water, probably about two thirds of it goes downstream, goes downhill, excuse me, to, uh, to rain garden areas. And some of it overflows out of here and infiltrates this area, which is fine. <clears throat> and some people say, well, it changes the pH. You've got washing to see what you, it depends what you use. Now, we don't, we don't use, uh, Laundry detergent per se, we use, um, I think it's a sodium bicarbonate base. I think it's the, is it the Arm and Hammer or the Mule Team. It's, it's, it's called washing soda. I, I can't remember the, I'm, I'm losing it here, but on exactly what it is. But it's not, it's not typically caustic. But yes, everything changes, everything changes pH. To say, well, it changes pH, well, everything changes pH slightly. But it depends on where you put it. What you've got there, uh, water is going to run off somewhere on the property. So that's what we've decided to do with it. Walk into this area here. The bananas you see up front, that's recent. That banana, banana circle or square, banana mound is what I'm calling it. To set it up, I covered that area with a bunch of cardboard, a bunch of newspaper, a bunch of compost, and a bunch of leaves. Did that for several months. Fresh kitchen scraps and all. And then I planted the bananas around it. These are called dwarf namwa, as I recall. And in the middle, I planted some uh, a bunch of papaya. So the papaya is going to do its thing there and grow. In the middle, papaya enjoys the moist area like the bananas do. That's what I have going on there. There's citrus back there that I planted. That citrus actually was next to the house, if I recall. It was right next to the house, and uh, I was like, yeah, I want that growing right next to the house. So we moved that, clipped it back a little bit. I've got some some pawpaw here, some native pawpaw, and I say native, it's typically I think they're typically found around the Tallahassee towards Pensacola area. So it's not native to this county. Whenever you say something is native, you have to you have to define your term. Native to the United States, native to the state, native to the county, native to your bioregion, your watershed, native to your type of of, of soil or type of ecosystem. Um, type of topography. We have a scrub here, and I'll find things that are native to the scrub that, that wouldn't be native into the forest in the same county, not in the pine forest perhaps. So when you say native, you really have to distinguish what you mean exactly by native. And that doesn't mean I'm on the side of just plant whatever you want. No, no, no. I'm, I'm kind of ag an agnostic on whether to use, whether to... I think natives are important, and we need natives every every place we can put natives. We also need food. If we just do natives, we're not going to feed ourselves. On if you, you can have a, you can have ten acres in Florida, and if you just do natives, you're probably going to have a really hard time feeding yourself. When it comes to fruits and vegetables, it's going to have a very I would say an impossible time. So, 
so uh, correctly mixing non-natives, being aware that some might be invasive, might cause problems. But something else we need to keep in mind, and I've recently learned this, is the soils. The soils in our area are no longer native. Speaking of native, that's a, that's a native garden spider right there. Where are you, buddy? Yeah, I see you. Yeah, there you are. All right, I'm going to go the other way. You look like you're set up there for a while. I'm going to go this way. That's a garden spider. You get the garden spider, the common garden spiders, and the orb weavers, or the silk orb weavers. I get them confused, but the, I know it's a spider. But yeah, so back to the, the whole native thing. Um, I think, I think if, if, if the majority of us who can, can grow food, as much food as we can on our property, if we can... If we can transfer maybe the, the three or four hours a day on, on, on the television and on the internet, playing around, take, just take two hours of that, or one hour of that, and try to grow some food on whatever area you have, whether it's a balcony or 10 acres, grow some food, grow as much food as you can, that will allow, that'll take some of the heat off of these massive agricultural farming systems. They'll, they'll use less land. If we quit our BS ornamental lawn nonsense, convert that to more productive uses, i.e. feed ourselves, take care of ourselves, food and fiber, whatever, that allows some of this land that big ag has to use to feed us let that return to native then you can get all your native stuff growing there i think that would be helpful so that's my argument against the purists who say only natives only natives only natives well you're doing only natives but where are you getting your food from you're getting your food from somewhere else is that what you want to do is, is have somebody else Worry about whether it's native or not. But where you are, it's got to be native. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the answer. All right. I got to get cleaned up because I got some stuff to do. <laughs> I got some Zoom call to do. So I got to uh, let everybody go here. Uh, wait, I think, oh, I may have time for one more video. I think I have time for one more video. So I'll stop it here and do one more video.